I'm Chef Magna, and today we're going to be cooking with grains. Now, I know a lot of people think of grains as sort of a plain side dish to be served warm, but we're going to change all that today. We're going to take simple grains that are quick and easy and elevate them into wonderful dishes and even cold salads. So we're going to start today with a brown rice salad. It's a curry rice salad and it's one of my favorites and when I share it with my friends they all love it and want the recipe. It's actually really simple. So I've made brown rice ahead. Now brown rice is simple. If you don't have a rice cooker you can make it in a pot on the stove. So it's always a two to one ratio. One cup of brown rice to two cups of water or two to four. And I made it ahead and cooled it. Now today I'm using a brown basmati rice and I like brown basmati because the grains are very loose. They don't lump together so it's not such a glutinous rice and it actually has a lower glycemic index and it works perfect for the salad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just about a tablespoon of a cold pressed organic vegetable oil, put it in our pan. And then I have a little mixture of curry powder and I add a little turmeric to it because I like the bright yellow color and curry powder sometimes is a little browner so I add a little bit of extra turmeric which is also great for your health. I'm just going to put it here and the reason I do this is because when you put the spice into the oil, especially when you're working with turmeric, it really diffuses the color into everything. It increases the color of the turmeric. So we're just going to heat that up a little. And then I'm just going to add it right into my rice. And if it sticks to the pan, if you lose a lot, you can always add a little bit of what you're cooking right into your spice. And it'll absorb it and bring it all right into your rice. Okay. So I'm just going to stir this around to get it all coated. And as we stir, so now I've got a little bit of warm water here. And this is going to be sort of the dressing. So I'm going to start this ahead. I'm going to add the raisins to the warm water. And what that does is it softens the raisins and sort of sweetens the water that gives us that sweetness for the kind of sweet and spicy flavor of our curry rice. And then I'm going to add, just in there I have a little bit of vegan mayonnaise and that will be our dressing. So first we'll start out just by adding our different condiments. I have red bell pepper, and grated carrot, and you can add anything you want to your curry rice salad. These are my favorites. Now I'm adding some chopped almonds for crunch. If you're allergic to nuts, just leave those out. Just going to mix this all together. I'm going to stir our raisins and our vegan mayonnaise in the water. And just add that also. So that gives it a moistness a dress, to the dressing and to the rice dish. Just going to mix it all together. Now I cooked my rice with some salt. If you like it salty, you can always add a pinch of salt. So these are like, these grains are like blank canvases. So you can add anything you would like. These happen to be my favorites, but if there's other flavors you like, so we're just going to add that right into our serving dish. These beautiful colors here. I'm going to top it with a little bit of cilantro just for color. Very festive. I love cilantro. 
If you don't like cilantro, you can always put a little parsley on top. And if you want it really spicy, you can add a little ginger. I'm leaving it a little milder today, but you can always grate in a little fresh ginger and that'll give it a little kick. So grains are so versatile and they can be used in so many ways. They can be used hot, cold, they're basically, like I said, they're a blank canvas that you can add any flavor you'd like. So have fun with them. And thank you so much for joining us today. I'd like to say aloha and mahalo. Aloha.